uh, hello everyone again uh, today I have smart for 2007 and the engine code is 132.910 the car came uh, to the garage that the uh, oil pressure switch or oil uh, oil pressure uh, light uh, and uh, oil level uh, uh, sign is illuminating and uh, this one and this one. this one and uh, let's start the car and see whether the uh, oil pressure light and oil level lights uh, light is uh, illuminating or not so i'm going to start the car so the engine is running as you can see but the <coughs> uh, engine management light and the oil pressure light uh, is still illuminating so I do not want to leave the engine running for longer so I'm going to take uh, the car uh, into the garage and uh, investigate further as you can see the engine is running but the engine is still cold and the uh, oil pressure light or the oil level light is still illuminating plus the engine management uh, light is illuminating okay now I'm first I'm going to scan the car uh, and see if the uh, oil pressure is available on life data and then this is the connector connected the scanner interface here because that was already left outside and then when I put into it sported the in <coughs> scanner interface couldn't connect so because that was that was connected with this and that was left outside of the port here so I connected the scanner interface here outside of the Port and uh, let's scan the car. So the scanner is connected to the vehicle, and now I'm going to scan the car and turn the ignition on. The ignition is in one position. Okay, scanner could not detect automatically the vehicle VIN number, so I'm going to put the vehicle VIN number manually and then <coughs> go further. So I have put the vehicle uh, VIN number manually and then see. Uh, smart Europe, yes. So rest of the world okay, yes Okay, I'm going to do N310, which is this one there. Okay, 
First I'm going to read the fault code. So P0500 stored speed sensor on is faulty. P0106 stored the uh, inlet manifold pressure. So we don't want to do anything with that. So Report your output for the cylinder heater oxygen. So there is no any oil pressure related code as stored the output of the heater of oxygen sensor report valve the output of the heater. Okay. Now I'm going back to the live data and I'm going to look for uh, the oil pressure function in the live data. So, mm, so I can I cannot find the uh, oil pressure function on the scanner live data. The the the, the only a function which I can find it is engine oil temperature not further than this there is no anything related to the oil fresh pressure so what am I uh, what am I going to do I'm going to uh, manually check the uh, oil pressure uh, according to the manufacturer specification. Okay. <clears throat> and the manufacturer specification for the uh, engine uh, oil pressure is that uh, for this type of engine which is uh, uh, 132.910 that's the engine code uh, for this vehicle and the uh, uh, specification is that at idle when engine is at its uh, normal operating temperature the uh, oil pressure should be 0 0.6 to 1. Point uh, to 1.6 bar and uh, also with the engine at normal operating temperature at 3500 rpm engine at 3500 rpm the engine oil pressure should be uh, from 2.5 to 4.5 Three bar. So <clears throat> uh, right now the engine is cold, and uh, for uh, the uh, engine safety purpose, I'm going to connect the pressure gauge at the beginning be before I start the engine and see uh, if there is any pre uh, oil pressure available at the gauge <coughs> pressure gauge. Uh, so then if there was any uh, pressure available on the pressure gauge then I'm going to uh, leave the car until it it reaches its normal operating temperature and then uh, take the uh, value of the uh, engine oil pressure and compare it uh, compare it with the compare it with the manufacturer specification so be with me okay <clears throat> when I was, I was going to connect the uh, uh, oil uh, pressure uh, gauge to the 
oil pressure switch here and I found that that the switch tip or uh, head is snapped off and you can see the wire is here that the, this is the wire completely and this is the uh, 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 oil pressure sensor switch or whatever you call it so the head is snapped off so I'm going to change that and then <coughs> hopefully uh, that uh, uh, could be the cause and uh, the uh, uh, oil um, pressure uh, sign and the oil level sign on the dashboard which was illuminating uh, and still illuminating uh, will go off. So with the bell cover removed and you can clearly see that this is the uh, oil pressure sensor or switch and the head is snapped off and this is the uh, wire which is left open circuit. So now I'm going to do this first and then see if the light goes off.
I have uh, sold this small uh, female connector because the uh, female plug uh, connect, uh, the connector from the wiring loom side is missing so I have uh, solder this one okay this is 24 millimeter head and Okay, let me put underneath uh, a tray that there is uh, oil spillage, uh, moist drop on the floor. So I'm going to uh, clean the dust around the switch as well. As you can see, the oil is spilt on the floor, but I put a tray underneath. If you want to remove the oil pressure switch or sensor, you need to do so. Okay, there are two types of uh, oil pressure switch available. One. If you see the left hand, the left hand side one in my hand uh, hasn't got thread to the end. Uh, the other one uh, has thread to the end. We are going to put the one on this top, on this model, the uh, pressure switch which has uh, threads to the end. So as you can see, that one hasn't got thread thread to the end, and this one has to the ends but not approximately to the end end but we are going to put this one so I'm going to clean the old uh, sealant from here So clean the the surface. Then vacuum the dust from the. So, uh, put some sealant uh, on the base of the <coughs> thread of the uh, oil pressure switch or sensor, like so. Clean the surface again, then. Uh, tighten, uh, tightening specification is 10 newton meter. Ten. Ten meter. Oh, get it. 
this is what it dangerous. I have made a, a female connector just only for the connector and also in the future if they have found the female uh, <coughs> uh, wire harness side connector so they can use that one as well and also I put very very strong sealant inside that will work as a, a waterproof and also uh, prevent uh, the wiring from vibrating to be uh, uh, come out or to be disconnected or losing in the connector so <laughs> I will leave that right now until it, the sealant uh, has dried and then <laughs> in the morning I will uh, secure the wiring at its securing place with the toy lift or other things and <laughs> the job will be done so uh, <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to start the engine and see if the engine light is uh, still uh, the uh, sorry the, it's not the engine light the uh, oil fresher sign or the oil level sign is still illuminating. Okay, I have fixed the oil pressure switch or oil level sensor and now I'm going to check whether uh, with the engine running uh, uh, there is still the uh, uh, oil pressure uh, sign or the oil level sign is illuminating or not so i'm going to turn the ignition on ignition is on as you can see <coughs> the oil level or oil pressure sign is illuminating now i'm going to start the engine so it's fix it now the uh, uh, oil pressure sign or uh, uh, oil uh, level sign is not uh, illuminating anymore thank you